Well, keep it in that house are doing so. Just for the talk for a second. Polly Tully, a TD for Captain Marshall, been TD. She raised a good point, and I said this uh, back a few months ago uh, to three, three, three or four county councillors. And I was saying with domestic violence, uh, I'm talking about women, sometimes it happens to men, but I'm talking about women in the home. And some of them do get abused, unfortunately, it's some people out there that are just what they control people and what they dictate to people um, from the home. And I was telling the, I was telling these the three or four guys, there's nowhere for women or men to turn if they're getting abused in the abusive place to get you to get refuge. They've been called to save me. Now there's one case that happened about two or three months ago. Now I remember it because I remember being told and I remember hearing about it because it was your top news in the local tabloids, um, about why we don't have a place and everything like that for people like that for emergency for emergency help. Um, and she had to go down to Clare to stay in Clare with her family because there's no place in Clare to keep her safe from her abusive boyfriend. Thankfully that abusive boyfriend is suffering a prison sentence now so thankfully because he was a very, very evil man. Um, for basically controlling her finances, controlling everything in her life. Not letting her out. Basically just being the dictator. Basically keeping her in prison. More or less prisonising her. And now there was a case and I have to offer my can see your apologies to the family of this poor, poor, innocent woman that her boyfriend stamped on her head and they're sure you hold on the note he knew. This fellow got 11 years and I think it was a lot, I think he served 50 years, 60 years at most. Because this woman's left with permanent brain damage for the rest of her life. That, there's no way they can fix it or anything like that. You know, and that's, you know, 11 years is not lenient, 11 years is too lenient. It should have been 50, it should have been 60. Because, you know, what he done, he stabbed on her head, and this is the worst part, she was pregnant at the time. So, you know, I, I'm happy that the justice system at least gave him a few years. But, you know, that doesn't, he should have got that, uh, you know, the right sentence. Because that was permanent brain damage. And I say again, she needs 24-hour care, seven days a week. You know, that's, you know, that's not justice. And let's be honest, that's not justice. Um, and I'm saying to people who are domestic violence, you don't suffer. You are a person. You deserve better than anybody who treats you, controls you. Because some people, I find, and when I hear about domestic violence, particularly women, that they you know, really say that he cares about me, that he thinks about me, that he's not doing it on purpose. People who do this to you, people who abuse you, hit you, if they hit you and do that, please, don't be, please get away from that. Please, please. I'm not saying... I'm not saying this to try and dictate anyone, but I'm just saying this because I'm worried. I'm worried because there's people as we speak now in Calvin and Monaghan, in different parts of Ireland, all across Ireland, they're coming home to abusive boyfriends, abusive husbands. And God forbid if there's a child involved. But I'm just saying, don't suffer alone. Please don't be afraid to say, you know, I'm being abused by my partner. Because, you know, it's about control. This is the thing. They're trying to control the person, and you know, and it's not much of a life if they're trying to control you. And I was just saying that about that case, who was going to be in control financially, he wasn't allowed to go anywhere, wasn't allowed to see her friends, didn't get her phone or anything that, you know, just made do chores and everything, just make her suffer with really. And that was just, that was like honest to God, like there's no word to describe how evil that was. And I'm sure people agree, just making her do and do and do walk, and not relaxing, just make keep making her do or do walk, not giving her any. For not giving her anything, basically just as soon as she came home for work, basically into slavery, more or less. Because he was just dictating and being like not completely in control of her. Wouldn't let her go to the toilet, like it was, like it was dreadful what he'd done. But, uh, that not, not the person who was sentenced, it was another person, but typically he's over in a few years. And hopefully, please God, you know, he, somebody will find him some of these days and hit, knock him a few, knock a few teeth out of him or something like that. Because, you know, because what he was doing to that poor woman, you know, was pure evil. And he was set, and that other person was too, that sentence was too lenient again. It was only five or six years. Um, too lenient, way too lenient. This was over two years. And, the, and she herself, you more or less for a long, long time said, he's doing this for my safety, for the benefit of me. Anybody who does that to the person they love, you know, I'm taking off, you know, something that I... I I had a crush on somebody once, um, a few months ago. Um, I would never do. I would never do to somebody I really truly loved and I truly cared about. And I'm just saying that straight. You would never, if you absolutely have worshipped the ground somebody walks on, um, either be a woman or a man, you would never hurt them in any way. And I would never do it to anybody. To try and hurt them in any way intentionally or to uh, basically abuse them. 
and I'm saying I'm begging to women, if you're watching this and you know of anybody, especially if you know of anybody, to pick up the phone and to tell somebody. Because you, this can't go on, it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. When somebody sees that they can have control and that you're going to sit down and let them you know, have their way, they're going to keep going further and further and further and further and then they go, they go beyond belief and Coronation Street and usually I don't watch it, I, I was watching a few episodes and um, they um good done a good a few episodes showing how a woman was being abused by her husband showing how she exploded, it, it built up you know and it ended up her uh, severely hurting and now this is fitting on reality but it just goes to show you because you know it builds up over time and it does build up um, and I'm saying to women, I'm even to men too, some women, men do get abused, please, the f pick up the phone, tell your friends, talk to somebody, but don't suffer, don't suffer, life is, life is such a precious, precious thing, you only get one life, you know, you shouldn't dissolve that, nobody dissolves that, nobody dissolves to be dictated to, you are free, the same as everybody in this island, you dissolve to be free and to have a life. So please, pick up the phone, call somebody, don't be afraid. And again, I keep saying it, it's a simple thing just to talk, to say, to tell your friend. And I'm saying to any friends that if you know of somebody being abused, please take action. Please. Be safe.